Imogen King was born on January 13, 1923 in West Point, Iowa. She died on December 24, 2007 because of stroke. She earned a nursing diploma from St. John's Hospital of Nursing in St. Louis, Missouri in 1945. From 1947 to 1958, King worked as an instructor in medical surgical nursing and as an assistant director at St. John's Hospital of Nursing. She earned a Master of Science in Nursing in 1957 from St. Louis University and a Doctor of Education in 1961 from Teachers College Columbia in New York. King was awarded an honorary Doctor of Philosophy from Southern Illinois University in 1980. Her first theory article appeared in 1964 in the journal Nursing Science, edited by Dr. Martha Rogers. Her article, A Conceptual Frame of Reference for Nursing, was published in Nursing Research in 1968. Her book, The Ward on Theory for Nursing, General Concepts of Human Behaviors in 1971 was published. King concluded, a systematic representation for nursing is required ultimately for developing a science to accompany a century or more of art in the everyday world of nursing in 1971. In 1981, her second book, A Theory for Nursing, Systems, Concepts, Process, was published. In 1986, her third book, Curriculum and Instruction in Nursing, was published. King provided a community service in health plan care through her framework and theory at various health care organizations. Goal Attainment Theory the theory of goal attainment was first published in 1971. It is a middle-range theory based on her conceptual systems in 1960s. It is a middle-range because the theory are narrower in school than grand theories. It has also their foundations in a particular paradigm. The theory of goal attainment states that Nursing is a process of action, reaction, and interaction by which nurse and client share information about their perception in a nursing situation, and a process of human interactions between the nurse and client whereby each perceives the other in the situation, and through communication, they set goals, explore means, and agree on means to achieve goals. King's model provides a useful way to organize and implement a curriculum in nursing. The model clarifies the relationship of individuals and families to communities by using concepts that define personal, interpersonal, and social systems. King's conceptual system is also has called the Open System Framework or the the general system framework focuses on the continuing ability of individuals to meet their basic needs so that they may function in their socially defined roles as well as in individuals' interaction within three open, dynamic, and interacting systems. So, what are these three interacting systems? In general system framework, it was illustrated there the three interacting systems. So, at the middle of the framework, there is the personal system. So, what is the personal system? Personal system is the system that consists solely of individuals who are regarded as rational, sentient, and social beings, which it composes a seven dimensions. First is the perception. It is a self-awareness or the representation of your reality, which involves 
the input of the environment, the transformation of energy, processing information, and storing of information. Second is self. It is a composite of thoughts and feelings which constitute a person's awareness of his individual's existence. Next is the growth and development. It is defined as the process in people's lives through which they move from a potential for achievement to an actualization of self. Fourth is the body image. It is, it is how to one perceives both one's body and others' reaction to understand one's appearance. For the fifth dimension, it is the time defined as a duration between one event and another as uniquely experienced by each human being. It is the relation of one event to another event. The sixth one is the space or the personal space which it includes that the space exists in all the directions and defined the physical area known as the territory and by the behaviors of those occupying it. And the last one is the learning. It involves critical thinking, self-activity, and conceptualizing based on input and output. Next is the interpersonal system. This shows how the nurse interrelates with a co-worker or patient, particularly in a nurse-patient relationship. Communication between the nurse and the client can be verbal or nonverbal. Collaboration between the dyads or the nurse-patient is very important for the attainment of the goal. Interpersonal systems has also its six dimensions. First is the interaction. It is defined as the observable behaviors of two or more individuals in mutual presence. Next is the communication. It is a process whereby information is given from one person to another, either directly in a face-to-face -face meeting or indirectly through telephone, television, or in a written word. The third one is the transaction. It is a process of interaction in which human beings communicate with the environment to achieve goals that are valued. Fourth is the role. It is a characteristic includes reciprocity which a person may be a giver at one time and taker at another time. The fifth one is the stress. Um, stress is a dynamic state whereby a human being interacts with the environment to maintain balance for growth, development, and performance, which involves an exchange of energy between the person and the environment for regulation of the control of the stressors. And the last one is the coping. Coping is related to stress or stressors. To much understand Imogen King's theory of goal attainment, here is an illustration of representation, the process of human interaction that leads to the transaction particularly between the nurse and the patient or the client. So the theory of goal attainment deals with a nurse-patient diet. It is a relationship to which each person brings personal perception of self, role, and personal levels of growth and development. The nurse and the client communicate first in interaction and in transaction to attain mutually set goals. The relationship takes place in space identified by their behaviors and occur in forward moving time. The proposition made in Imogen King's theory of goal attainment are if perceptual interaction accuracy is present in nurse-patient interactions, 
transaction will occur. If the nurse and patient make transaction, the goal and goals will be achieved. If the goals are achieved, satisfaction will occur as well as the effective nursing care. If the transaction are made in nurse-patient interaction, growth and development will be enhanced. And if role expectations and role performance as are perceived by the nurse and the patient are congruent, the transaction will occur. If raw conflict is experienced by either the nurse or the patient or both, stress in the nurse-patient interaction will occur, and if a nurse with a special knowledge communicates appropriate information to the patient, mutual goals setting and goal achievement will occur. The theory of goal attainment deals with the nurse-patient dyad. It is a relationship to which each person brings personal perception of self, rule, and personal levels of growth and development. Social system. These are groups of people within the community or society that share a common goals, values, and interests. It provides a framework for social interaction and relationship and establishes rules of behavior and courses of action. Organization prescribe role, position, using resources to accomplish goals. Authority, reciprocal interaction to define, validate, accept the authority of individuals. Power, to resolve or influence situation. Status, the position of an individual compared to others. Applied concept, decision making, the goal directed process, the choice is made to answer a question or attain a goal control, power, or authority. Meta paradigm in nursing. The theory focuses on creating a positive behavior that can be adapted both by the nurse and the client to achieve goals established by the client with the help of a nurse. Nursing, a process of action, reaction, and interaction by which nurse and client share information about their perception in nursing situation, and a process of human interactions between nurse and client whereby each perceives the other and the situation and through communication. They set goals, explore means, and agree on means to achieve goals. Action is defined as a sequence of behaviors involving mental and physical action, reaction, which is considered as included in the sequence of the behaviors described in action. In addition, King discussed goal, domain, and function of professional nurse, where goal of nurse to help individuals to maintain their health so they can function their roles. Domain of nurse includes promoting, maintaining, and restoring health and caring for the sick, injured, and dying. Function of professional nurse to interpret information in nursing process to plan, implement, and evaluate nursing care. Person King described a person existing in an open system as a spiritual being and rational thinker who makes choices, selects alternative courses of action, and has the ability to record the history through their own language and symbols, unique, holistic, and have different needs, wants, and goals. Human being has three fundamental needs. The need for the health information that enable at the time when it is needed and can be used. The need for care that seek to prevent illness. And the need for care when human beings are unable to help themselves. Health. Health involves dynamic life experiences of a human being, which implies continuous adjustment to stressors in the internal and external environment through optimum use of one's resources to achieve maximum potentials for daily living. Environment 
King defined environment as the process of balance involving internal and external interaction inside the social system. Reactions from the interaction between the internal and external environment can be biological, psychological, physical, social, or spiritual. Environment is the background for human interactions. It involves internal environment and external environment where internal environment transforms energy to enable person to adjust to continuous external environment changes. The internal environment is the exact opposite as adapted by Newman Systems model. While external environment involves formal and informal organizations, nurse is a part of the patient's environment. External environment is the factor that exists outside the boundary of the open system. Gives detailed information about the nursing process and her model of nursing. The steps of the nursing process are assessment, nursing diagnosis, planning, implementations, and evaluation. The theory explains that assessment occurs during interaction. The nurse brings special knowledge and skills, whereas the patient brings knowledge of him or herself, as well as the perception of problems of concern to the interaction. During the assessment, the nurse collects data regarding the patient, including his or her growth and development, the perception of self, and current health status. Perception is the base for the collection and interpretation of data. Communication is required to verify the accuracy of the perception, as well as for interaction and translation. The nursing diagnosis is developed using the data collected in the assessment. In the process of attaining goals, the nurse identifies problems, concerns, and disturbances about which the patient is seeking help. After the diagnosis, the nurse and other healthcare team members create a care plan of interventions to solve the problems identified. The planning is represented by setting goals and making decisions about the means to achieve those goals. This part of transaction and the patient's participation is encouraged in making decisions on the means to achieve the goals. The implementation phase of the nursing process is the actual activities done to achieve the goals. In this model of nursing, it is the continuation of transaction. Evaluation involves determining whether or not goals were achieved. The explanation of evaluation in King's theory addresses meeting goals and the effectiveness of nursing care. Practice. The theory of goal attainment states that nursing is a process of action, reaction, and interaction by which nurse and clients share information about their perception in a nursing situation and the process of human interactions between nurse and client whereby each perceives the other and the situation. Research. The concepts in these systems framework have been the basis for research and for developing theories, such as the theory of goal attainment. This theory includes a human process of interactions that lead to transactions and to goal attainment outcomes. This process is useful in any nursing situation and in any culture. Education. Students with academic difficulties often experience stress and anxiety causing emotional and or psychosocial difficulties due to lack of social caring, poor time management, study techniques, cognitive fatigue, potential learning deficits, and detrimental emotional experiences.
Good morning, ma'am. Ano po si Nurse Daniaga? Ano po ang pilihan ng pasyente? Tulibas po. Na paano po ang pasyente po? Ay, may lagnat po kasi siya, ma'am. Tapos, at nung araw nang hindi ko makain. Yung suka niya po, kulay dilaw rin. Tapos, masakit po yung tiyan niya daw. Kita ng vital signs, baby. Ha? Upo ka muna. <laughs> Hi ma'am, good morning po. Ako po si Dr. Kami. Tulibas po ang pasyente. Opo, Dok. Record ng patient. Ito po, Dok. Ma'am, check natin po yung vital sign ng patient, ha? Opo. Ang kanyang heart rate is normal. Then, ang kanyang respiratory rate is normal. Then, ang kanyang blood pressure is may hypotensive po siya. Then, ang kanyang temperature is hyperthermia. Kaya po ha kung saan banda yung masakit. Okay. Kailangan makuha na siya ng blood sample para ma-endorse natin siya sa ultrasound for abdominal part. Yes po. Good afternoon po. Ako po si Dr. Kamid. Ito na po ang record ng ultrasound ng patient. Tulibas po. Opo. Ito po ang findings ng ultrasound ng patient. Siya po ay may ruptured appendicitis. Prepare for surgery. Ma'am, masyado bang delikado yung emergency surgery para sa anak ko? Hindi naman po masyado, ma'am. Kasi yung appendix, wala naman po masyadong raw sa ating katawan. Kailangan lang natin tanggalin yung appendix kasi nagkaroon ng infeksyon. Thank you. Sorry ma'am, gagawin po namin lahat ng aming makakaya para sa inyong anak. Thank you nurse. Good evening ma'am. Good evening. Nurse Daniela po. Name po ng patient. Tulibas po. So, successful po yung operation ma'am. So for any appointment for removal of sutures, Um, magpapa-appointment lang po kayo within the 5th and 7th day surgery. And then, for the meantime, bawal po siya magbuhat na mabibigat na bagay within 2 to 4 weeks. And then, sa bahay niyo po, you need to assist your baby and monitor always po. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you po, Mary. A 4-year-old girl comes into the emergency room for nausea vomiting, fever, and abdominal pain. The mother reports that the child has been saying that his tummy hurts for the past three days and not wanting to eat very much, but that day, he started to throw up. The emesis is yellow and the child has thrown up four times. Upon assessment of the child, 
The boy cries anytime he sees a nurse or doctor and hugs his blanket and mother. The nurse notes tears, pink dry skin and a patent airway. The nurse stays in the room and plays with the child until the nurse is finally able to get a set of vitals. The child's heart rate is 122. His respiratory rate is 28. His blood pressure is 91 over 52 and his temperature is 101 Fahrenheit auxiliary. The child still will not let anyone auscultate or palpate her abdomen. The doctor orders blood work, Tylenol, and an x-ray of the abdomen. The nurse draws the blood work and send the child to x-ray with her mother. The child has returned from x-ray and is cuddled up with her mother and blanket. The child, the child still will not let the nurse listen with her stethoscope but isn't crying anymore. The x-ray has resulted and shows the child has appendicitis. The nurse knows she needs to prepare the parents and the child for being admitted to the hospital and surgery. A recheck in vital signs shows the following. His heart rate is 110. His blood pressure is 95 over 53. His respiratory rate is 22 and his temperature is 101.2 Fahrenheit auxiliary. The OR schedules the child's surgery for tomorrow at 6 a.m. at the hospital room is ready for the child to be admitted to overnight. The following are the nursing process. Assessment Subjective A 4-year-old boy patient experienced nausea, vomiting, fever, and abdominal pain. The mother reports that he has been saying that his tummy hurts for the past three days and not wanting to eat much but that day he started to throw up. Upon assessment of the child, the boy cries anytime he sees a nurse or a doctor and hugs his blanket and mother. Objective. Emesis is yellow and the child has thrown up four times. His heart rate is 122, respiratory rate at 28, and blood pressure 91 over 52. His temperature is 101 Fahrenheit auxiliary. Assess patient's vital signs in preparation for surgery. His heart rate is 110, blood pressure at 95 over 53, respiratory rate at 22, and temperature at 101.2 Fahrenheit auxiliary. Diagnosis The child has experienced sudden pain that begins on the right side of the lower abdomen. Sudden pain that begins around your navel and often shifts to your lower right abdomen. Nausea and vomiting. Loss of appetite. The x-ray has resulted and show that the child has appendicitis. According to King in process of attaining goal, the nurse identifies the problems, concerns, and disturbances about which person seeks help. Planning Relieving pain of patient Preventing fluid volume deficit Building relationship to patient Reducing anxiety for preparing for surgery Eliminating infection due to the potential of the actual disruption of the GI tract. Maintaining skin integrity. Attaining optimal nutrition. Intervention. The nurse facilitating and supporting patient in maintaining and caring for themselves. The nurse establishes and maintains a trusting relationship by listening to the client, displaying warmth, answering questions directly, Offering unconditional acceptance, being available, and respecting the client's use of the personal space. The nurse maintained calmness in your approach. Evaluation. Relieved pain. Prevented fluid volume deficit. Reduced anxiety. Eliminated infection due to the potential or actual disruption of the GI tract. Maintained skin integrity. Attained optimal nutrition.